As The Last of Us 2 multiplayer, or lack thereof, debate rages. One is left peering into the root of the tension and is left feeling, man, is this whole situation confusing or what? And also, things have really got pathetic. Let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up because I'm not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right. You know how your boy likes to do this, man. I, I, it sickens me to have to do this. I'll I'll save all that stuff for the, for the end of this video, but... Yeah, I like to do this one. This is going to be a real, real difficult one to treat, man, because this is deep rooted. We got problems here, y'all. But let's get into it anyway. You know how I like to do it. I like to do the checkup. Then I give you the analysis. Then I give you the prescription. This is going, this is going to be a tough one to prescribe some medicine for, but we're going to try. Look, first the checkup. Last of Us 2 is one of the most anticipated games as the eighth generation of console gaming closes, all right? And the ninth generation is right around the corner, baby. Now, a component of the last installment of The Last of Us was multiplayer, which enjoyed a very dedicated cult following. This following, however, was disappointed to discover that during the promotion of the game during um, this week, which was, uh, um, I forgot, uh, Outbreak Week, I believe it is. That during Outbreak Week, it was revealed that multiplayer was no longer slated to be included with the retail version of The Last of Us 2. On those revelations, gamers are angry. One side is angry, it's not coming with the retail release, but then you got another side that's mad that those people are angry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is where it gets confusing, but we'll, we'll get into the nooks and credit of that in a little bit. But now for the analysis first, let's clear up some confusion first and foremost. Firstly, undoubtedly, there will not be a multiplayer as part of the Last of Us 2 experience as Naughty Dog explicitly said so. You don't believe me? Well, check this out. Okay. Let me try to increase the size of this too, just so there's no mysteries, all right? I can do, okay. It says, it, this is a statement from Naughty Dog after the whole whoop to do and all, the whole blowout in regards to this. It reads as follows. We wanted to address the multiplayer in The Last of Us Part Two, As we've stated, the single player campaign is far and away the most ambitious project Naughty Dog has undertaken. Likewise, as development began on the evolution of our factions mode from The Last of Us Part One, the vision of the team grew beyond an additional mode that can be included with our enormous single player campaign. Wanting to support both visions, we made the difficult choice that The Last of Us Part Two would not include an online mode. However, you will eventually experience the fruits of our team's online ambition, but not as part of The Last of Us Part Two. And where it will be realized is still to be determined. Pay close attention to that, I repeat. When and where it will be realized is still to be determined. So they're not sure what they're developing right now, okay? But rest assured, we're as big a fan of factions as the rest of our community, and we're excited to show more when it's ready, all right? Again, let me read that last part again because there's some people trying to conflate and confuse the situation for argument chips. However, you will eventually experience the fruits of our team's online ambition, but not as part of The Last of Us Part 2. When and where it will be realized is still to be determined. Okay? But we got that confusion out of the way. All right. Also, there's also been people trying to contort and conflate. Why are people even mad? You know what I'm saying? They never promised this to before. I show you exhibit B. Here we go. Check this out. Let me increase this for size for all intents and purposes. This is an article from June 2018, directly after the E3 presentation, June 19 to be exact. And it says, The Last of Us 2 as multiplayer, Naughty Dog confirms, okay? Check it out on GameSpot. You can read the whole kit and caboodle about it there. So 
there is no glimmer of hope that a multiplayer is coming as part of the last of us 2 experience something has changed as we as i just showed you that in 2018 they were all gung-ho then all of a sudden in the more later tweet without outbreak week coming they no longer are planning to release a multiplayer experience as part of the last of us 2 experience they're not even sure what they're going to do yet okay according to that statement that according to that statement that came from naughty dog so something has changed and it isn't coming period Gamers feel, however, that The Last of Us 2 experience is primarily single player. Therefore, they feel that complaining about multiplayer is stupid. And they're trying to get these people out here to shut up about it. They don't want them saying anything about it. They're tired and sick of hearing it. And it just is a is an abysmal discussion to have. It's asinine, to quote my homeboy Bear, right? Debates have sprawled all over the place. And there is a PlayStation Civil War at this time at the time of this recording. You know what I'm saying in regards to this. Now on to the prescription. I told y'all earlier, I'm confused and I feel this is pathetic. Let's go over the confusion. Here's why I'm confused. If you are one of the people who feel that multiplayer is irrelevant, then get the game. It, it affects you none. Also, on social media, if you're tired of hearing of it, just filter out the damn tweets. Prime example. I hate, I hated the movie Bird Box with uh, Sandra Bullock. I think that's the name of the movie. The stupidest movie I've ever seen. Me and my wife gave that two thumbs down the throat and throwing and gagging in the toilet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That movie was horrible as far as we're concerned. Therefore, the following day, I personally got tired of all the cornball ass memes people put out there thinking that they were saying something clever with the whole blindfold thing. So what did MM2K do? Did I go on social media and say, stop liking what you like. Stop liking what you like. Stop feeling somewhere about what you like. No, I used the options that were given to me via social media and I just muted all the trigger phrases related to the movie. It was the best day of my damn life. I advise all of you out there that are complaining about people complaining to do the same damn thing, okay? It's not a special feature for MM2K alone. Now, here's why I say this is pathetic. These people are arguing, um, the, the, the people that are arguing for multiplayer, right? They have no persuasion over how Naughty Dog will ultimately bring out the single player experience. Them arguing over this, rather, is not going to affect or ruin the single player experience altogether. Per that statement, they're all gung-ho. Multiplayer's on the back burner. They're not thinking about it right now and they're gonna release single player and they're, they're fully focused there. In all likelihood, however, the people complaining about multiplayer, the cult following, which may be people in the minority, will just ensure that Naughty Dog don't nickel and dime them and create a paid for uh, uh, system, you know what I'm saying, where they gotta pay additionally for it or some money grubbing free to play mode that nobody wants, you know what I'm saying? So therefore, at the end of the day, the worst quote unquote that's gonna come out of these people complaining is that you're gonna get a better situation for all gamers. All gamers will be benefited by this if Naughty Dog acts on all these complaints. So in light of that, what is your beef? You know what I'm saying? What is your beef really with theirs? Except you, <sighs> this is the part where it, there's no other way to say it but to say it. The only beef that I can see with this is you are so pathetically embedded in the console war that for the sake of a debate, you don't want gamers to act like gamers. <laughs> you want them instead to act like some corporate concubines and show relentless dedication even when they're not pleased. All for the sake of argument points against a console y'all say is dead, which is the Xbox platform. Let's be honest here. Now, I can go on and on about this, but I'm not. I'm truly disgusted, however, because there's no other way to slice this. 
There is nothing wrong with these people arguing for this mode. If you truly don't like it, then mute them arguing about it. You can just specifically mute them bringing it up. And lastly, if you really think about it, with them arguing about it, they're only going to create a better scenario for you at the end of the day or nothing for you at all. It's not going to affect single player. All it's going to do is if you're interested in doing multiplayer, it's going to create the best scenario for you in light of what's happened, okay? But I'm, I'm disgusted. Y'all dragging this 30 year plus passion of mine into the gutter. It's just a shame, you know what I'm saying? And for all of y'all that claim that y'all are PlayStation fans, then follow Kratos in the last God of War. Just do better. That's it. I'm out.